hello everyone my name is maggie achim welcome back to my channel and if you are new please click the subscribe button and yeah just like this video it's free <laughs> yeah so i am back with another video and today i want to do a video on the things it's basically three to four things that you need to identify before you buy a bill or open any kind of business for that matter and disclaimer i am not a professional these facts are based on the few years that i've been in business yeah so i will go straight into the video and uh, the first thing that you need to identify when you want to buy a bill or open a business is what is your location unataka kufungulia shop wapi unataka kufungua online unataka kufungua kwa soko unataka kufungua kwa ka, um, shop bahali what's your location because your location is really going to determine a lot if you're opening online you need to know not everything goes online it is only the camera stuff that go online the rest just don't go online right if it's in the market there's no need of going for things like grade one bills because market prices are normally a bit lower right so you need to identif identify first what is your location right number two you need to identify who is your target market by this i mean please don't be irrelevant when you open a, a kind of business don't open a ladies boutique next to amjengo because i mean most of the people in amjengo are men so if you open a ladies boutique it is really not going to make any sense and you're just going to be irrelevant so please identify your target market if it's a place where what we when you peter you know your target market are going to be kids so exactly you're going to go for kids build or open a kids business right so identify your target market that's the other thing that you need to figure out three you need to also identify what is your budget please have a budget so that at least when you know i am going to get this particular bill or that particular bill i know this is the amount i'm working with but sometimes you get a client and you ask them what is your budget and they tell you what i think chewy right <laughs> so if you can't know i definitely can be able to help you because with your budget i can be able to tell you we can be able to get this kind of a bill so please also identify your budget number four please 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 make sure you are una quench a certain need by this i mean make sure you're meeting a specific need in an area for example you see there's shops like this if you go there and you see maybe hapa there's so many shops but there's no one doing this kind of business then that's it you have needed it but if you go to a place where you see you are there the next person is doing the same business as yours the next person is doing the same business as yours sometimes with overcrowding businesses tend to struggle a little bit so please make sure you are satisfying a specific need so that you can be able to at least get clients and get referrals you know right so make sure you una quench a certain need another thing that you need to figure out if you're planning to open a shop please cut a kanjo please please cut a kanjo please please because the city council licenses normally vary with the counties some counties pay three thousand others pay five thousand others pay seven thousand others ten thousand depends on your location cut up this ticket because imagine a scenario where me i'm your client i've come to your shop i have followed me maybe that day i have decided i was just gully creep with my hands and then yeah you get cut up gone left one shoe my friend i am never coming back to your shop again never so <laughs> just to avoid embarrassment make sure you cut a city council mini certificate and then cut it at the beginning of the year so at least you can make funny funny kazi because it doesn't make sense to cut it in november you know so cut it at the beginning of the year next please identify what mode of payment will you prefer if, you, if you're going to prefer a tail number please apply for it before before you open your business so that it's not all oh, when you've opened is when now you want to right more so when you're online because when you're online and you have a tail number it gives someone some sort of security to know at least here's the ev but when someone is online and we have to pay through your mpesa number uh, that's where you know online business guys doubt a lot so right your mode of payment is really going to determine 
itakujenga itakujenga just get a till number by the way so if you're planning to go online please just get a till number right another thing what else is there anything else you need to figure out yes please and have an understanding of the product that you product that you want to buy have an understanding of the bills that you want to get for example if you want to get dresses don't just go and tell a seller aren't a bill of dresses which one which one right so please you can also go through my videos there's some videos i've done um explaining on kids bills explaining on ladies dresses explaining on ladies tops and i'm planning to do more of chambering this build so that you guys can be able to understand the difference of bills so please have an understanding of me bill gani nataka don't just go and say nataka bill ya watoto which one right if you're able to at least have an understanding of the kind of bills that you want this will also help you in the sense that you won't be conned easily right because utakona jua ni bill gani haso unataka someone won't just give you a bill and tell you by the way you're here chukua and uh, you understand so please have a knowledge of have knowledge of the product that you want to get either built or any other business i said this bill this video is not specifically for mutumba business only it's for any kind of business that you want to start doing so please be able to have deeper information on the product that you want to start selling don't just start selling right so is there anything else that you at least need to figure out um i believe for now i'd say that's it the rest of the things you'll figure out along the way and if you're gonna do a boutique, I said previously, please get dummies. Just get dummies because there's no way you will just hang clothes on a hanger and expect them to go. Invest in dummies. Dummies are bought in ECB, dummies are bought in OTC, and also you need hangers. So I'm not saying you're not gonna need hangers, you also need hangers. So invest in those. Anything else that you need to know for now? I believe those are the most crucial things that you need to know because these are the things that you need to figure out before you approach a seller. Because sometimes, you know, when you approach a seller and you're like, I'd like to start this business, okay? What would you advise me? What you mean? What you mean? Or you approach a seller and you're like, Nataka Bilia Tops. Which one? And the person is like, Ada Sidri imagine let's another point i would like to also see that you need to figure out please let's research ourselves research is free let's not be lazy let's not want don't want me to do all the digging for you imagine find out some information information is free this is my channel you can look for information because i mean if you start asking me things for of videos that i've already done i just know you have not much to on my videos mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway jokes aside so please figure those things out those are the points that i wanted to put across if i come across anything else definitely i'll do a video i will definitely do another video um so i hope you guys are doing great i hope your december is taking you well please like this video i'm actually done with this video like like this video subscribe to my channel uh turn on your post notifications and uh, yeah if you have any other video ideas that you think i should do be sure to put it on the comment section i will do a video on it and if you have any question please 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 just write it on the comment section and i will respond to each and every one of your questions and that being said i know that people who would like to know where did you get that top because this top is looking bum wait wait you know sometimes when you're flossing you have to huh? exactly oh 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 it's nice right okay. i'm not going to put in my own horns by the way stop looks fire if you have a wedding imagine it looks nice right so this top is for meg's couture if you haven't followed the video already please do so let's connect on my other socials instagram it is maggie Achin. my business pages it is meg's closer on facebook and the other page is meg's couture or couture depends on who taught you who taught you nasri and uh, yeah 
let's connect with other socials that being said asantini sana for watching until this far and yeah i'll see you in my next video peace out and this december i'm planning to do back to back to back to back videos so if you haven't subscribed already please click that subscribe button see ya god bless you guys